Oh, hello there, and thanks for joining on Complicated Math today. Today we're going to be looking at how to add fractions with unlike denominators. And by the end of this video, you'll know the steps involved when adding fractions with unlike denominators. So let's get started. So in question number one, we're being asked to add one third plus three fifths. But the problem is we can't actually solve this addition problem the way it's currently written because we have two different denominators. So as we can see over on the right hand side under our steps involved, our first step is to rewrite the fractions with common denominators. But before we actually do that, we're going to go ahead and rewrite these fractions down below so that we have a bit more space to work with. So now we need to find a common denominator. And if you're unsure on how to do this, I encourage you to pause the video and take a look at some of the video links in the description below where we go over this topic in a lot more detail. So for this video, we're going to find a common denominator by multiplying our denominators. So when we multiply 3 times 5, we get 15. So we're going to rewrite these fractions with a common denominator of 15. But we need to make sure that we keep these fractions equivalent. And what that means is we need to make sure that we multiply our numerator by the same value that we multiplied our denominator by to get our common denominator of 15. Now for our first fraction, we had to multiply three times five to get our denominator of 15. So we'll do the same thing to the numerator up top. And one times five gives us five. Now we'll do the same thing for our second fraction where we needed to multiply five times three to get the denominator of 15. So we'll do the same thing to our numerator up top. And 3 times 3 gives us 9. So now we can move on to our second step, which is to add the numerators. And the reason that it says add the numerators rather than add the fractions is because in this situation, when we're adding fractions, the value of our denominator doesn't change in our answer. It's still 15. So now we're going to add our numerators. And when we add 5 plus 9, we get 14. So now for step number three, it says simplify when needed. And since there's no common multiple between 14 and 15 other than one, we know that we can't simplify this fraction so it's already written in its lowest possible terms. So when we add one third plus three fifths, we get 14 over 15. So now let's move on to question number two where we're being asked to add two fourths plus one third. So we'll remember from earlier that our first step is to rewrite with common denominators, but first we're going to rewrite these fractions down below so that we have a bit more space to work with. And then just like we did in the first one, we're going to multiply our denominators in order to find a common denominator. So when we multiply 4 times 3, we get 12. So we're going to rewrite these fractions with a common denominator of 12. So now we need to make sure that we keep these fractions equivalent. So we need to multiply our numerator by the same value that we needed to multiply our denominator by to get the denominator of 12. We needed to multiply four times three in order to get 12. So we'll do the same thing to our numerator up top. And when we multiply two times three, we get six. Now we'll do the same thing for our second fraction where we needed to multiply three times four to get the denominator of 12. So we'll do the same thing for our numerator up top. And when we multiply one times four, we get four. So now we can move on to our next step, which is to add the numerators. You'll remember that the value of the denominator doesn't change, it's still 12. And when we add six plus four, we get 10. So now we can move on to step number three, which is to simplify when needed. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write 10 over 12 down below, because in this case, we can actually simplify this fraction because both 10 and 12 are multiples of 2. So we're going to divide both 12 and 10 by 2 in order to simplify this fraction. And when we divide 12 by 2, we get 6. And when we divide 10 by 2, we get 5 for 5 sixths. So when we add 2 fourths plus 1 third, we get 5 6 when written in its lowest possible terms. So hopefully by now you understand the steps involved when adding fractions with unlike denominators. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.